ladies. Thank you very much, Madam Stella Marquez Araneta. Beautifying net. I understand that no Filipina has won the Miss Intercontinental crown before. Um, and I guess in a way it's also an advantage that it's here in the Philippines because I will have my supporters supporting me on the final night. So I'm very excited for that. I've prepared so very hard. It's been very challenging and been very busy for me, especially these holidays. Um, you know, I was still training even though it was um, Christmas and New Year's. As some of you guys might know that I started, I joined Bini Beaning back in 2012. That was six years ago, or maybe seven years ago now. And um, I did place top 15. Um, I didn't win a crown. And so I decided to join again when I'm more matured and have kind of experienced life a bit more. And, you know, I see myself as an empowered woman who has grown so much and learned so much through, first off, my education second of my experience um, working overseas and um, I feel a lot more mature and ready and that's why I joined Bini Bini again for the second time and luckily enough I snatched one of the crowns. Can you elaborate why you chose education as one of your advocacies? Thank you. Yes, so um, it's a very long story and I guess it's very personal to me because um, some people might not know, I, kinda, I grew up in Bohol, I grew up in and I grew up in school. And, school. and um, you know, Bohol, where I'm from, is very rural. My hometown, Ubay, it's quite in the middle of nowhere. So I had experience walking to school, um, it, and it took about 30 or so minutes just to go to school, and that was only one way. I thought to use that to make aware that, you know, it's not easy going, attending primary school in the rural parts of the Philippines. That is why I wanted um, to bring that to people's awareness. And um, also, the, I also experienced attending school and primary school in Australia when I migrated at the age of eight. And just comparing education from the rural parts of the Philippines to Australia, it was a huge, you know, difference. The materials were lacking. Um, comp comparison to Australia. So that's why I kind of wanted to make that as my advocacy and I would love to work on that um, after Miss Intercontinental win or lose. I think that is something I really want to make a difference and make an impact on. Um, but at the same time, I've also been quite active um, volunteering at orphanages. Um, and so young children are quite what moves me and touches me.